Hey Luke here with Cassie. Okay, Tommy and Nathan here are going with me to England. Everyone, look at the camera. I'm gonna spend 10 days carp fishing with my boys. What the me and my family, we're going to England. And Nathan and Tommy and I, we're gonna be doing some serious carp fishing. Alright guys, go run free. I you're done. <laughs> Well, we finally made it. I've been traveling for 12 hours, and here we are at Cherry Lakes in the Cotswolds in England. And it is absolutely gorgeous. The weather is absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for better. While me and the boys were getting the groceries bought, Becca and her folks were in London tearing it up, sightseeing as much as they could in one day. The name of the place we were staying at was Cherry Lakes. It's a beautiful trophy carp fishing lake with these private cottages you can rent. And I'll put a link to their website in my video description. But they rent bait boats and rod pods and carp fishing tents and all sorts of really cool carp fishing gear. And I absolutely had a ball. And it didn't take me very long before I hooked into one of their monster carp. First British carp, 28 pound mirror. New personal best for mirrors. Oh, what a gem. Look at what a porker this thing is. I kind of have the Nikon battery. Man, what a great way to start this trip out. I've been in England for 
less than 24 hours and I've got a 28 pound mirror carp on the bank. It's just awesome, my first British carp. Scoop the coop. Cherry Lakes was just a beautiful and ideal location for our family. There's these three private lakes with lots of large fish in it, these cozy little cabins, along the lake you can rent including the largest one which fit all six of us very comfortably it's a very nice modern clean place to rent with a hot tub and a jacuzzi tub but it was also centrally located in the Cotswolds and one of our favorite things that we love to do in England is just drive around the Cotswolds and see the gorgeous towns and villages This trip really worked out well. I could stay at the house and fish and keep an eye on Nathan while he was down for his nap, and Becca and her folks could go out sightseeing and enjoy the countryside. The Cotswolds of England is one of the most charming places on earth and there's all these wonderful little villages with these great names like Stow on the Wold and Upper Slaughter and one of the places we visited was Bybury and it's a little bit more touristy than some of the other villages but it's got these great little trout farms and it's absolutely scenic. It contains some national heritage sites and it's just a beautiful place and the kids love to go feed the trout and we just had an absolutely great time. One of the things I did on this trip was I got to go fishing with a friend of, named Mark who lived in Buckinghamshire, England, and we did canal fishing, which is probably the most English type of fishing you can do. These beautiful canals crisscross the country with these canal boats in them, and you can just walk up and down the canals fishing and catching carp and bream and roach and all sorts of wonderful fish. And uh, so I went and bought a couple pints of pinkies, these little pink maggots, and we just had a ball fishing. Oh! Bream Slayer! Oh, it looks like a shad. Oh, I've heard that they're slimy. We got a bream. Shall we put it back in the water? Put it back. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, I got a towel. Oh, my God. There's poop. Ah! Ew. It's coming. There's poop. Oh, fish slime. Yep. Hey, Tommy, come here, boy. After the fishing, Mark took us back to his farm and let Tommy play with the baby turkeys. You like that, Tommy? Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> Becca's mom had never been to Paris, so while me and Tommy were fishing, Becca and her folks took the channel to Paris and did a one-day whirlwind tour.
the UK is the birthplace of fly fishing, I thought it only appropriate that I should do some fly fishing in England. So I went to this private lake called Lechlez and Bushlees, which has some amazingly huge trout in it. You can easily catch a 20 plus pound trout here. Unfortunately, I came in the wrong time of the year, in the middle of the summer when it was blistering hot and the water temperature was so high that just nobody was there and the trout were jumping like crazy, but they just wouldn't bite, which is a sign that they're overheated. But it wasn't a waste. I got stocking lessons from a wonderful fishing coach named George and he showed me a lot of great tips and tactics. I learned some new things. And he also talked to the owners after we got done fishing and let Tommy fish in the state's hatchery pond. Where you got him? Oh, Tom, come, come on. here. Come 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 here. On, Tommy, come here, fish. Come on. Fish. Come on. You reel him in. Put your hand right here, Tom. Like that? Yeah. Well done, Tom. Not too much. No, no, let it out a bit, Tom, now. Let it out a bit. Oh, well done. What a fisherman. Right, you can put that down now on the grass. Alrighty, do you want to put him down? No, 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 no. Keep the rod up in the air. Keep the rod up. Walk backwards. You walk backwards. The fish will come with you. Yeah, keep it up. Oh! Are you dug? Was that fun? They're so big. They are some big ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go clean them. I'm swimming. I see some swimming. Good job, Tommy. Different bus loops of Paris to today and. Cherry Lakes is a trophy carp fishing lake and they have their own tackle shop and gear you can rent but also nearby there's a full-blown tackle shop with tons of gear that you can't find in the United States. And I love just rummaging around British tackle shops. You get to see all sorts of weird kit and tools that you just can't get in the United States. And while I was fishing at Cherry Lakes, it was really hot and the carp were high up in the water column and just weren't biting. And so I decided to try out zig bugs, which are these little buoyant flies that you can buy. And so I rigged them up and threw them out there and they were absolutely the hot ticket while I was there. Got the net? Oh, <laughs> you got it? I got it's okay. Here, let me get this. It's tangled. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So you got this? Yeah. All right, Tommy, show me what you got. Okay. Right, again. There. You got him, Tom. I'm not scared. Looks like he's about 21, 21 and change. This is a... Oh, this is a... Hey, Tom, over here. Sit down. This sit is down. big. This is a big one. Okay. Ready? Okay. Stand right. Let me go like this. See? There you go. Look, he's swimming. He's swimming away. In the summertime, the best time to catch a carp is usually an hour or two before sunset to an hour or two after sunrise. So you do a lot of night fishing. So we have these tents and these bed chairs and you just camp out by your rods with these bite alarms that wake you up if there's a fish. And then in the middle of the day, you get to go sightseeing and hang out with your family.
middle of the day when the fish weren't biting, we did a lot of day trips. And my favorite was going to Wales to go to Carfilly Castle. It was absolutely amazing. We went and got fish and chips in Wales and we got a small order of fries. <laughs> Okay, I foolishly ordered the large fish. So, um, yeah. The country of Wales has its own dialect, its own culture, and it's just an amazing place with tons of these medieval castles. And Carfilly Castle is one of the best ones. It even has 20 pound carp swimming around the moat. But we had a ball exploring this castle. Me and Becca have a tradition that every time we visit a country, we like to buy kids books in the language of the country we're visiting. So we went to this bookshop across from the castle and bought a British kids book and a Welsh kids book. And I also bought some more car fishing magazines, you know. And we got picked up the kids some toys. We just had a great time in Wales. And it was one of those countries that we really wish we had more time to visit rather than just day tripping from the Cotswolds. After we got back from Wales, we had our first rainy day of the entire trip. And we went back to Byerbury and saw more of the beautiful sights. And I took Tommy trout fishing because he loves to catch trout. And this little trout farm they got over there is just so gorgeous. And it's got everything you need to go and catch a ton of trout. And you can even cook it right there. They have barbecues and stuff for grilling the fish right there if you want. So I took Tommy out and we went and played around and caught some trout and just had a wonderful day. Show me your fish. It has gills and mouth. It has a gills and mouth, that's right. That's a big trout. Good job. Yeah. Look who back in the bucket. Mom, Good job. Yeah, follow Grandpa. We really enjoyed catching and cooking up this trout. And Around our cottage there was all these wild herbs growing, like sage and thyme and stuff. So we packed that trout full of herbs, wrapped it in tin foil and put some butter in there and just had a wonderful trout dinner. But I just really enjoyed fishing at this location. All the staff that worked there and the owner were great people and they bent over backwards to try to make sure each one of their guests had a good time and caught fish. And it was just a wonderful place to visit and I hope we get to go back there sometime. And. Uh, we, we had a ball, but all good things have to come to an end. And so it was our last day. We had to eventually pack it up and, and call it. Um, but we weren't done yet. On our way back to London, we stopped by the city of Windsor and got to see the Queen's Castle and do some shopping and just had a great time.
these 10 days just flew by and we had such a great time. We've been to England several times and if you'd like to see those videos and along with our other travel and adventure videos here on the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out our travel and adventure playlist. I'll put a link in the description and thanks for watching. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. See you then. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.